So they bring up all that to here and the car's like shaking a lot now. And then eventually the car will stall. That way it's not good. On this video, I'm going to show you four different ways of doing hill starts in a manual car. Let's get started. So the first way I'm going to show you is using the handbrake technique. So let's say you're stationary and your handbrake's already on. You can use this to help you keep the car where it is until you're ready to move. So we're going to use the handbrake and the clutch together and the gas as well. So first of all, make sure the handbrake's on properly. So right now the car's not moving and the handbrake's on securely. Get into first gear. And then what you're going to do now is get the biting point with your clutch. So you're going to bring it up until you see the car, the front of the car, raise slightly. It's a very little movement. Or if you look in your rear view mirror, you see the car dip down a bit at the back there. That way, you know you've got the biting point. Once you've got it there, keep it at that same place. Add a bit of gas as well. So you've got the gas between 1,000 and 2,000 RPMs. That way, you've got enough power. Then now you can look around. And then when it's safe, handbrake down, keeping the clutch where it is and then gradually bringing it up smoothly. That way, you're gonna move off uh, nicely. So with this handbrake technique, what you don't want to do is, let's say you've got your biting point now. Uh, a lot of learners, they make the mistake they make here is, they'll have their biting point and then they'll try to bring out the clutch, but then that's too much, you see, that's too high, then the car will stall that way. All you need to do is keep the clutch at the biting point and then the car will move off smoothly. Another mistake some learners make here is, let's say you've got the biting point ready to go. Once they've released the handbrake, they'll dip the clutch down a bit and then that way, you see, you roll back. You haven't got any more power because you haven't, you're not at the biting point anymore. What you want to do, once you've got the biting point, keep it there and then raise your clutch up smoothly and gradually, just little bits at a time. And then that way, you're not going to roll back and you're not going to stall. Now, another way you can do this is if your car's got hill assist, the way it works is when you come off the brake, it holds the car for a couple of seconds, giving you time to bring your clutch up to the biting point and then adding some gas so that then you can move off. This takes a bit more practice and I'll show you how to do it now. So when I come off the brake, do you see? It doesn't roll back, but for too, if you come off the brake for too long, then it rolls back. So it's on again right now, but if I come off the brake and then it rolls back. So it gives you time to go to the gas and then get your clutch at the biting point. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's say it's safe now, look around and then come off the brake, go to the clutch, to the biting point, then add gas. And then that way I don't roll backwards. I'll show you again. Off the brake, up to the biting point, a bit of gas, and then go forward. So the mistake learners make with the hill assist is that when they try to move, the hill assist is still gonna hold your car for a couple of seconds, even when you're trying to go forward. And then they'll think, oh, it's not enough power. So then they'll bring the clutch even higher, which will then make it stall. So they'll go there and go, why is the car not moving? And then they bring up the clutch too high and then the engine will stall. So to avoid that, just be patient. Once you get the clutch to the biting point, keep it there and then the hill assist will release the, the brake. I'll show you. So the hill assist is on, hill assist is still holding the car and then now it lets go, yeah? So be patient with it. Let it, let it hold the car for a second and then it's gonna move forward. As long as you're at the biting point, your car is going to move forward. Another technique you can use is using the foot brake. This is what a lot of people do once they become a bit more experienced. And it's also useful if your car hasn't got hill assist. So I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to turn the hill assist off so that I can show you properly. But now, if I was to do, try to do the same thing as before with the hill assist, you see, the car rolls back straight away. There's nothing holding it anymore. The only thing that's holding it is my foot on the brake. But you can actually use this technique as well with your foot and the, on the brake to make it not roll back. So when you're doing it with the brake, you keep your brake on and then bring the clutch up to the biting point. But with this technique, unlike the handbrake technique, you're not gonna see the car roll race forward and you're not gonna see the back dip either. Get the clutch to the biting point and the car will start rumbling a little bit. That's how you know you're in the right place. And then once it's safe, you come off the brake, add a bit of gas, keeping the clutch the same, bring it up smoothly and then that way you can move off. A mistake learners make with this technique is when they are trying to bring the clutch up to their biting point, they might bring up too high and the car will start shaking loads and then it's gonna stall. So I'll show you what I mean. So they bring up all that to here and the car's like shaking a lot now. And then eventually the car will stall. That way it's not good, yeah? So if the car starts shaking too much, that's a lot of strain on the car. So you wanna bring up the clutch down, just down a tiny bit, just back to the biting point so that it's not too much. I'll show you what I mean. So if I bring it just to there, and that's enough now, I can feel it rumbling, and look around, make sure it's safe, and then, and then I move. Another technique you can use, which is a lot more technical and requires a lot more practice, is going straight to the gas from the brake, 
and you getting getting your foot to the biting point with your clutch now this is a bit harder and i don't recommend this really if you drive your car all the time or if you're really comfortable with it and not on super steep hills though this one's quite steep and it's not going to be the best place to be doing this but i'll show you anyway how to do it and you you might expect a little bit of rollback on this as well because it's um it's that steep i'll show you the handbrake's down so i'm not using the handbrake i'm gonna make sure it's safe first and then once it's safe i'm gonna bring my clutch to the biting point and then straight to the gas i'll show you again yeah you see so there's a tiny bit of rollback yeah that's to be expected because there's a moment when I'm off the brake and I'm trying to bring the clutch to the biting point. Look that there, yeah. So do this only when the hill is not that steep. Uh, if it's really steep, the best technique to use there is the handbrake. Because if you look, or the foot brake technique. Because if you look now, if I do the handbrake technique, yeah, there's, there's no rollback because the handbrake was holding it until I got to the biting point. When you're reversing uphill, it's the same thing as, as going forward uphill. You can use all the techniques that I just showed you before. So I'll just show you the handbrake technique going to reverse just for example. So I'm gonna get the biting point first, but instead of the car, instead of the front raising now, it's gonna dip forward because the back's trying to go back now, yeah? So now when the car dips forward a bit like that, I can look around and now I've got enough power, add a bit of gas as well, and then handbrake down. But because I'm going into reverse, I don't wanna go too fast. So I'm just keeping it around the biting point and then down a bit on the biting point, up and then down, up and then down. Another thing as well, you have to remember in reverse, is you can reverse back slowly. And if you press the clutch down too much, you see the car goes all the way forward. So to prevent that, when I'm slowing down, all I do is bring the clutch just to the biting point and then up again a bit above it and then down again. If I bring up too, too low, you see the car goes forward straight away because gravity is pulling it down. So to avoid it, just bring the clutch a bit down and then up again a little bit down and then up again that way I can go really slowly without rolling back and forth so when you're approaching a junction on a really steep hill it's a good idea to approach in a lower gear like two and then as you get to the top you want to go into first gear just before you get to the top so I'm going to turn left here and then as I get nearer to the top I'm going to go into first gear so that I can creep up to the line slowly if I was to do this in second it wouldn't work so well I'm just going to stop for a second so I can check both sides and then I can carry on now so you see that one, I use the hand handbrake technique because it's so steep. Sometimes if you try to do it without using the handbrake, you can roll back. Especially if there's a car behind you, that's not gonna be good. So don't be afraid to stop the car for a second, put the handbrake on, get your clutch ready, and then move off. But there is a faster way, and I'll show you how to do that now. So on the last go, I used my handbrake technique, but this time I'm not gonna use my handbrake, I'm just gonna balance the clutch as I approach it. So I'm gonna get my mirror checks done and go out the other way and turn left, signal left. Then as I approach it, I'm gonna go into first gear when I get near the top, and then I'm gonna get my clutch to the biting point so that my the clutch is just balanced there. I'm going over slowly. I'm not gonna bring it down too much, just balancing it at the, the biting point, and then that way, if it's clear, I can keep moving. So that way it's quicker, just keeping it at the biting point and allowing the car to roll forward slowly so it gives you time to check both sides and then carry on going. 